Solar Smart comes with a rain sensor, which looks like this. This will be mounted on the outside of the window or skylight installation in a near flat orientation, preferably this way and not this way. It's a pretty simple concept. We have two copper contacts that is connected when the water collects on top of the sensor. This is something you're going to want to clean periodically. It's copper and it could corrode in um, normal conditions. With this remote option, the Solar Smart rain sensor is enabled by default. With this remote option, the Solar Smart rain sensor is disabled by default. Each rain sensor controls each operator. So this is different than any other programming where each setting operates the entire zone. This one is done at the operator level and not at the remote level. Thus the rain sensor closes only the operator in which the rain sensor is connected to. So we're going to push any button to make sure the screen is awake. Hit mode to enter our settings. We want to enter zone 1 and Max open is displayed, always the first option. We're going to push the up arrow until we have the rain umbrella icon blinking. I'm going to hit enter again. Now since this is you know, per each operator, I'm going to select the operator in which I want to enable the rain sensor, in this case 1-1. One -one. Enter. By default it's off. Up arrow until it's on. We hit enter. We get the word success. And now it's enabled. Obviously if it said fail, we didn't have proper communication between the remote and operator. We just try that again. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit mode to return to our home screen. And now we have the umbrella icon solid on the screen. A solid umbrella icon means the rain sensor is enabled. If you don't see it, it is disabled. A blinking rain icon means that water is detected on the sensor. With the rain sensor enabled and umbrella icon is solid, we can test the installation of the rain sensor and the setup. We just get our, our finger a little wet. And use your thumb or finger to close the circuit of the two copper contacts and wait. This could take as much as 10 to 20 seconds. And there we go. The chain now closes. When the rain sensor dries off, the operator will reopen. Again, that process can take 10 to 20 seconds because it's not constantly monitoring. It's just monitoring on, on an interval. You know, the chain will reopen until it reaches its original location. If the rain sensor still has moisture on the contacts and you open the operator, the operator will open and then close right away again. You see we've reached a max open of 80%. Rain sensor is still enabled. And we're closing. Most of the time, your operator will close when you're not there watching. Your remote will be in sleep mode, and when you wake it up, a blinking icon indicates rain on the sensor. A solid icon indicates the rain sensor is just enabled.